So for our yoga practice today, we'll be starting with um, a short chant, Om chant. If you are not used to chanting, you obviously don't have to chant. Take this opportunity as a, as a way to voice out, um, to exercise your voicing. And then just enjoy the vibrations that's been created while you are chanting. If you don't, if you're not used to chanting Om, if you're welcome to chant um, something that you, that you are familiar with, all right? And then we'll be going into a short, maybe about 40 minutes of the, the actual asana practice, the yoga practice. And then using some of the, the blocks as assistance during the practice. And then we'll wind down into Shavasana, followed by some breathing techniques and breathing exercise. And then a short, very short meditation. All right, so I'm looking forward to sharing this morning with you. Welcome and thank you for joining in and sharing this beautiful day. And then we'll start. So let's begin by sitting up on your cushion. Allow the pelvis to tilt forward. So if you have something higher, then uh, something high to cushion underneath your buttocks so that your knees can be slightly below your hip level. All right. So when you're sitting up a little taller, you allow the pelvis, your pubic bone to tilt down more towards the floor. Lift your sternum up, broaden your shoulders out to the side and then soften your thighs. Let your knees drop. Find an easy cross in your legs. So if you find that there's tight hip flexors here and your knees are like really high up, I suggest you sitting up even higher. Okay. The higher you go, the easier it is for you to allow the knees to soften and to relax your thighs. Roll your shoulders up, back and down away from your ears. Plant your hands down to your knees or your thighs and just find that lift in your spine. You're welcome also to use your hands behind your hips with your fingertips on the floor and giving yourself a little bit of that lift in the spine, pushing down gently into the floor and keeping your spine upright. Now resting your hands on your knees. Keeping the eyes closed. Taking a few deep breaths here. Inhaling to the count of four, breathing into your belly and up your ribs. Feeling that sense of elongation through the crown of your head as you inhale. And then as you exhale, Soften the shoulders, root back down into your sit bones. The left and right evenly placed on your cushion or on your support. Take a moment to scan through your body. Notice if you're holding any tension. And see if you can soften those spots, those tension spots, a little bit more without compromising the integrity of your spine. So keeping the spine upright, sternum lifted, chest broad, pubic bone tilting down slightly, and then just let go of any unnecessary tension. Take a moment to have deep breaths and sense the body. Each time you inhale, expanding around your ribs, front, side and back. Each time you exhale, letting go of unnecessary tension, physically, mentally.
Taking three more rounds of your own deep breathing. Grounding, centering breaths. Keeping the eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer in front of your chest. Feel the sternum against your thumb and your thumb against the sternum. Notice how the sternum lifts up toward your thumbs as you inhale. As you exhale, continue to soften the top of your shoulders. We'll begin the class by chanting OM three times at your own pace. Remember you have the option to chant whatever you feel familiar with. Exhale fully. Inhale and we'll start chanting OM. taking a gentle bow set an intention for your practice this morning checking with your intention setting the intention with sincerity perhaps it is to bring balance physically mentally even spiritually and identify what it is that you would like to balance for the purpose of your practice or perhaps simply setting an affirmation for your day for the rest of your coming week Time to listen to your inner voice. And slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Good morning. Right, you're welcome to straighten your legs in front of you and just shake it out. Bounce your knee up and down. Part your legs a little wider and roll your thighs in and out, in and out, keeping the feet flexed, moving from the thighs, your hip region. Feel the thighs rolling in and out. Internal rotation, external rotation, in and out. And roll your ankles, draw big circles with your toes. And then draw your circle the other way. Changing the cross of your legs, so taking the other shin to the front and sit up tall again. All right, finding that leveling position of your pelvis, left and right. Pubic bone tilting down, sternum lift, and inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Lengthen the sides, exhale, turn the palms forward, 
pull as if you're pulling a string and bring your arms in line with the shoulders, elbows in line with the shoulders. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Exhale, pull. Keep your collarbones nice and broad. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull. Feel the shoulder blades coming down. Inhale, let the shoulder blades raise up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. And exhale, pull. Keep your elbows in line with the shoulders. Extend your fingers on top. Inhale. Exhale, draw the elbows into the center. Making your elbows towards pressing against each other and pressing the palms into each other. Inhale, open your arms. Feel the shoulder blades coming into your spine. Keep your shoulders down. Exhale, close the arms, press the elbows, press the palm. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. And release your hands down to the floor. Inhale, left arm up and over into your side bend. Soften the bottom elbow towards the mat. Root down into your left hip and open the side of your ribs. Inhale, come up. Exhale over to the other side. Again, soften the bottom elbow towards the mat and root down into your right hip. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, take both arms up, reach up. Exhale, twist your body to your right side. And lower your arms down the center line. So imagine a line running between your knees to your tailbone. Keep your arms on that line. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Reach up tall. Turn, come back to the center. Exhale, twist over to the left and lower your arms down. Making this as fluid as you can. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, draw the belly in. Twist. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, one more, inhale up, and exhale, place your front hand to the opposite knee, back hand on the floor. Bring your sternum up, lift the sternum and pubic bone tilting down to the mat, exhale, draw the belly in and twist. Looking back behind you on the floor, keeping your chin slightly tucked under. So your gaze is on the floor or on your shoulder behind you. And each time you inhale, lift your spine up a little bit more, lift your chest, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. And as you exhale, engage your abdominals, making this an active twist. And looking back, stay here. Take three deep breaths. Each time you inhale, lengthening and lifting. As you exhale, engage your abdominals, draw the belly in and twist. Allow your hip to move with your spine. And now inhale. Exhale, release your hands, come back to the center. We're going to do the other side. So inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling, lengthen. Exhale, twist over to the left and lower your hand, front hand to the opposite knee, back hand on the floor. Inhale, sit up tall, pubic bone tilting down, sternum lift, shoulders away from your ears. 
As you exhale, draw the belly in and twist, looking back behind you, on the floor, or on your shoulder. Let the body spiral from your hip all the way up to your neck. Take two more deep breaths here, lengthening as you inhale. As you exhale, engage your abdominals in twist. And inhale, look forward, release your twist, come back to center. Hands in front of your knees and coming into our spinal wave. Okay, so you're going to place your hands, pushing your hands into the knee and lift your chest forward, pushing your chest forward and up, concaving your spine. Exhale, draw the belly in, round your back. Feel the pubic bone tilt up towards your head. Inhale, lifting the chest forward and up, pushing the chest forward and up, pubic bone down to the floor. As you exhale, draw the belly in, round your back. Inhale, concave back. Exhale, round back. Inhale, Concave back, looking slightly up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding. Just take a moment to check in with each section of your spine. So we're doing essentially like a cat-cow stretch, but sitting down on the mat. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, looking forward and up. Exhale, rounding. Draw the belly in, last one, inhale, and exhale. And come back to your neutral tabletop position. So remove your um, cushion behind you and place your wrist on the floor. Tabletop position, knees hip width apart, wrist under your shoulders. And extend the left, the right leg, sorry, the right leg back. Keep your legs hip width apart. Push down with the hands. Keep your chest nice and broad. Shoulders away from your ears. Tucking your tailbone slightly under. Press the heel backwards and open the back of your right knee. So straightening that right leg. Feeling your hamstrings and your calves Take a gentle stretch here as you descend the right heel. Inhale. Exhale, float your right leg up and the opposite arm forward. Balance. Continue to hug the inner thighs towards each other. Drawing the belly in as you exhale. Making a suction cup with your bottom hand, your supporting hand, so that you're not placing all the weight into your wrist. Using the muscles of your palm to support your carpal tunnel. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands and knees down. Sit back to child's pose for a moment. Knees apart, sides of the big toes touch. And sit down to your heel. Rest your head on the mat or on your cushion. Keep your knees wider, slightly wider than your hips so that your belly can be nicely supported between your inner thighs. Take two more deep breaths here. You're welcome to roll your wrists, circling your wrists. And come back up to tabletop position. Wrist under your shoulders, knees hip width apart. And then let's extend the left leg back. Keeping your inner thighs hugging in towards each other. Drawing the belly in as you exhale, push down into the floor with your hands. Keep your chest nice and broad and open. Descend your heels a little bit more towards the mat as you straighten the left leg. Hold here. Breathe.
Now inhale. Exhale, lift the left leg off the mat and extend your opposite arm forward. Balance. Continue hugging your inner thighs. Push down into the floor with the bottom hand. Draw the belly in as you exhale. Notice where you are placing weight in your hands. Bring it a little bit more towards the thumb side of your hands and your index finger and making a slight grip with your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands and knees down. Sit back to child's pose. Knees apart, wider than your hips, sides of the big toes touch. Sit down to your heel and rest your head, rest your shoulders. Roll your wrists here if you wish. Take one more deep breath here. And reach your arms all the way forward. Preparing for downward facing dog. Keep the wrist shoulder width or slightly wider. Spread your fingers wide. Remember again, while we are placing and bearing weight with our hands, try and distribute the weight across the bases of the fingers and making a suction cup with the palms of your hand. Inhale, lift the hips. Tuck your toes under, exhale, knees off and push back into downward dog. Keep your hips nice and high, lift your heels all the way up to the ceiling. So lifting the heels, coming onto your tippy toes. And continue lifting and um, t tilting the pelvis forward. So you'll find imagining that you have a tailbone at the back. You do have a tailbone, so, but imagine that you have a tail at the back and you're lifting the tail up to the ceiling as you tilt your pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Now bend, bend your knees and then start paddling your feet. Lower one heel at a time. Feeling that lift in your hip. And stay here in your downward facing dog. Keep your knees slightly bent in your down dog. Continue lifting your tail up to the ceiling. Bring the belly a little closer to your upper thighs. Relax the neck. Look down between the legs. Finding that extension across the back of your body. Pushing the mat away from you. Inhale. And then exhale, now straighten the legs, descend your heel to the mat. See how it feels to lift your toes up to away from the floor. And inhale, look forward, step your feet forward. Feet hip width apart, hands up to your thighs and come into your half lift position. So with your knees slightly bent, Try and extend your spine from your hip to the crown of your head. So instead of rounding the back, thinking of protruding the chest forward and up. Roll the shoulders back away from your ears. Draw the shoulder blades back to your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Slide your hands down to the, flat, uh, to the mat. Either to the mat or if you have blocks, it would be great to rest your hands on the block. And then just let your body fold. Uttanasan. Relax the back of your neck. Keeping the knees slightly bent. Even with the knees slightly bent, you should still be able to feel that gentle stretch across your hamstrings. Bend your knees more. Inhale, sweep the arms back and reach arms up to the ceiling. Lengthen through the sides. And inhale. Exhale, sweep arms back, bending the knees and fold forward again. Inhale, slide your hands up to your thighs and half lift, straight back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back to your plank position. 
So in your plank, wrist slightly ahead of your shoulders and lower your hips so that your, the back of your head, your hip and your heel is in one straight line. Tucking your tailbone slightly under, draw the belly in, inhale, exhale, lower the knees. Keep your abs engaged as you lower your hip and your chest down at the same time. Inhale, lift chest up, baby cobra. Roll the shoulders back, hug your elbows in, reach the toes back. Extending through the crown of your head forward. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes under and lift up to tabletop position. And then up to downward facing dog. Come into your down dog, feet hip width apart. Take a few paddle of your feet, lower one heel at a time. And stay in your downward facing dog. Let's practice two more rounds of our sun salutation. Inhale, look forward, step your feet forward. And come into your half lift. Feet are, feet are hip width apart, straight back. You're welcome to straighten your legs here, keeping that extension in the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Bending the knees, inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Go into a slight back bend, lift your heart up. Exhale, arms back and fold. Inhale, half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back to plank. Plank position, holding the body with your core, tucking your tailbone under. Legs are hip width apart, but imagine that there's a block between the legs. Push down into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees. Keep your abs engaged. Lower your hip and your chest down at the same time. Inhale, baby cobra. Pulling your sternum forward and up, shoulders back away from your ears. Exhale, tuck the toes under, push up to tabletop position and then up to downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog for three deep, slow breaths. Breathing fully into your ribs around your ribs and as you exhale draw the belly into your spine continue lifting the tailbone up towards the ceiling a little bit more and descend your heel as you exhale a little bit more one more breath inhale Exhale, inhale, look forward, step forward and come into your half lift, straight back, knees can be straight or bent, exhale, fold forward, bending the knees, inhale, arms back and up, reach up to the ceiling, go into a slight back bend, lift your heart up. Exhale, arms back and fold. Inhale, half lift, straight back. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back to plank. Plank pose, draw the belly in. Stay for a breath, inhale. Exhale, lower the knees, control landing. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here again in your down dog for three deep breaths. 
gently pushing the mat away from you as you tilt your pelvis. Lift the sit bone up to the ceiling. You're welcome to keep your knees slightly bent here if you have really tight hamstrings. And then you're welcome to slowly descend your heels once you've found that extension in your spine. Inhale. Exhale, relax the neck. Draw the belly in. Inhale, now lift your right leg up. Point your toe up towards the ceiling as high as you can. Keep your shoulders level. So instead of turning your chest out to the side, try and keep your shoulders level to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee. Try and step forward between your hand. Well, actually bring the foot a little bit more closer to your right hand. So stepping the foot out to the right side. And then if you want to use your hand to adjust your foot, you can try and bring the foot so that your uh, knees are roughly on top of your ankle. And keeping your back heel lifted, fingertips on the floor. Straighten the back leg. Moving into our crescent lunge. Notice how you are balancing the weight across the ball of your back foot, your left foot. Just bring awareness there. Everything needs to be mindfully done so that you can have a little bit more stability and engagement. Push down with the right foot and inhale, arms up. Crescent lunge. Reach up through your fingertips. Straighten the back leg. Hold here, three deep breaths, inhaling into your belly and up your ribs, exhaling, draw the belly into your spine. Take one more inhale, lift your gaze up to the ceiling for a little bit more challenge. Inhale. Exhale, lower the back heel. So roll the left thigh out, lower that back heel down to the floor. And then open your arms out and line with the shoulders. Your chest is now facing the left side of your mat. Warrior two position. Inhale, exhale, gently descend your hips a little bit more. Keep your spine perpendicular to the floor. Inhale here, exhale, wrap your back hand, your left arm around the back. See if you can hold onto the front thigh, the, the right thigh. And remember to keep your front knee in line with the center of your toes. Inhale, take your front arm, your right arm over. So essentially moving into a modified warrior two position. Two deep breaths. And inhale, come back up. Straighten the front knee. Move into our triangle pose. Inhale, exhale, reach the right arm forward. Reach, reach, reach. And let's come back up to center. Exhale, reach. Like you're trying to grab hold of something. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. One more. Exhale, reach. Lower your hand down lightly to your shin. If you have the blocks, you can use the blocks underneath your hand. And bring your back arm, your left arm, up to the ceiling. Triangle pose. Lean slightly back. Take a few deep breaths here. Finding openness across the front, sides, and the back part of your body. Remember, you're not leaning and pushing all the way down to the bottom hand, to the bottom foot. You try and hold the body up with your core. Inhale, exhale, 
slightly bend your bottom knee, your front knee. Come back up to your warrior two position. Shoulders in line, your arms in line with your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, pivot your back heel up. Roll the thigh in. Lower your hands back down to the floor. Lower the back knee down to the mat. Flatten the foot if it's okay for your knees. If you want to cushion that knee, you're welcome to cushion your left knee. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Reach up again through your fingertips. Lengthen the sides of your body. Gently draw the front knee back and your back knee forward, hugging your inner thighs to each other. Inhale. Exhale. Twist your body to the right side. And lower your arms down in line with the shoulders again. Inhale, bring your arms back up to center. Turn back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. And exhale, twist. Lower your left hand down to the floor. Continue taking your top arm up to the ceiling. Push down to the floor. Your right arm is up towards the ceiling and inhale. Gently draw the belly in and twist. Exhale, take your top arm all the way overhead. A modified revolved side angle pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hand down to the mat. Tucking the back toe under and step back to downward facing dog. Paddle the feet. Lower one heel at a time. Let your hips sway from side to side. And then stay in your downward dog. Lifting the tail. Descend your he heels. Bring the belly a little closer to your thighs. Relax your neck. One more deep breath. And inhale, look forward. Step your feet forward. Come into your half lift position. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Bending the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms back and reach up to the ceiling. Go into a slide back bend, lift your heart. Exhale, arms back and fold. Inhale, slide, bend in your knees. Come into half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale, exhale, knees down, control landing, lower hip and chest down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here in your down dog. Take three deep breaths. Gently pushing into the thumbs, the base of your fingers, index finger. And now inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling. Point your toe as high as you can. Allow the right heel to descend. And try and keep your shoulders level to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, step forward. So as you step forward, you might want to assist your foot a little bit forward and bring that knee roughly on top of the ankle. And your legs are still hip width apart here. Notice how you're balancing on the back, the ball of the back foot. Come onto your fingertips, protruding the chest forward. 
chest is nice and broad. Hugging the inner thighs towards each other and inhale. Exhale, push down with the front foot, lift, arms up, crescent lunge. Reach up through your fingertips. Draw the belly in as you exhale, keep breathing. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, roll that right thigh out and lower your heel down to the mat. Turn your body to the right side of the mat and lower your arms down in line with your shoulders. Warrior two. Inhale and exhale. Descend your hips a little bit more. Root down into the, ankle, the back foot, the outside edge of your back heel keeping the inner arches of the feet lifted. Inhale here. Exhale, wrap your back arm, so your right arm around the back. See if you can touch your thigh on the other side. And then turn the front arm up. Take your front arm overhead. Take this opportunity and descend your hips a little bit more, keeping your knees in line with the center of your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Let's come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg this time. Reach your left arm forward. Inhale. Come back up. Exhale, reach the arm forward. Remember not to lock your front knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. And exhale, reach. Lower your front hand to your shin or to your block and bring the back arm up to the ceiling. Triangle pose. Lengthen through your fingertips. Ground into the outside edge of your back foot. Finding openness around your body. See how it feels to come up a little bit more. And inhale, leaning back slightly. Exhale, take a slight bend in that front knee. Lower your hands down, pivot your back heel up and come back to your runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale, lower the back knee to the mat. Cushion it if you want to, if you need to, and inhale, lift arms up, Anjaneyasan. Draw that front knee back and your back knee forward, hugging a block between your thighs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist your body to your left side and lower your arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale, arms up again. Come back to center. Exhale, twist and lower. A little slower. Inhale, come back up a little faster. Exhale, twist, slowly lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up and exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, lower your right hand down to the mat and bring the back arm up to the ceiling. Push down with the bottom hand. You're welcome to come onto your fingertips or even use a block underneath your right hand and reach up through your fingers. Draw the belly in as you twist a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, take a top arm overhead. Reach to the front, inhale, exhale, lower your hands down to the mat. Step back to downward dog. Paddle your feet, lower one heel at a time. 
I hope you have worked out a sweat like I have. And then stay in your downward facing dog. Relax the neck. Continue to lift the tailbone. Finding that stretch across your hamstrings and your calves. Try lifting your toes away from the floor. See how that feels. And ground your toes. Inhale. Exhale, lower your knees down. Sit back to child's pose. Knees wider than your hips, sides of the big toes touch and sit down to your heel. Rest your forehead down either to the mat or to your cushion. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Take a few deep breaths here. Breathing fully into your belly and up your ribs. As you exhale, soften your thighs a little bit more, soften your buttocks. And slowly lift yourself up. Lie down onto the floor. Going into our supported, or actually dynamic bridge pose. So keeping the knees bent, lower your spine down to the mat. Keep your feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Palms down into the floor, chest nice and broad. Chin slightly tucked under, neck is in a neutral position. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up to the ceiling. Imagine a string lifting up through um, just an area below the, the belly button. So imagine a string attached there and it's lifting up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, lower your hips. Hold here, inhale, exhale, let's lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. One more. Exhale, lift and hold. Continue pushing down with your hands. Lift the hips up as high as you can. Bring the sternum up towards your chin. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hips down to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a few deep breaths here. And lower your feet down to the floor. Take your right ankle and place it on top of your left knee. Make a figure of four with the leg. Keep the leg active and flexed. And slowly lift the left knee up. Thread the right arm through the hole and hug your left knee. Either the front of the knee or the back of the thigh. It's really depends on how you feel in your hips today. Continue to roll the shoulders back and down away from your ears. Keep your right foot flexed and push the right knee up gently towards the ceiling. And then slowly lower and bring the left knee, pulling the left knee a little closer to your chest. Feeling that right glute stretch here. Take a few deep breaths. Can you soften your glutes a little bit more and let the stretch happen? Using your breath to help you reach into the spaces of your joints.
and then release. Taking the other leg, so left ankle on top of your right knee, keep your right, your left foot flexed. Open your knee out to the side, make a figure of four. Lift the right leg up, thread the left arm through the hole that you have created and hold on to that left, sorry, that right knee. Either the front or the back. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears, chest nice and broad. No tension on your neck. Just roll your neck from side to side to check that it's still free. And then slowly press the left knee up towards the ceiling as you bring the right knee down to your chest. Take a few deep breaths here, softening the glutes, taking deep breaths into your belly. Take two more deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale, release your feet down to the floor. Keep your legs hip width apart, arms out to the side, and just gently sway your knees from side to side. So remember your knees, your legs doesn't have to be together. Keep your legs apart and then sway the knees from side to side. Keep breathing. Going as slowly as you wish. And come back up to center. Hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself one more big hug. And then extend your legs in front of you for Shavasana. Have the legs as wide as the mat, arms comfortably wide out to the side. Roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. If you want to cushion your, um, your head, you're welcome to use a cushion or a pillow. And prop it underneath your neck, supporting your neck, the curvature of your neck. And stay in your Shavasana. Take a moment here to scan through your body. Make any adjustments if necessary. You're welcome to cover your eyes with an eye pillow or with a towel, just blocking out light. Once you're completely comfortable with the position of your body in this position, uh, in this pose, in Shavasana. Start focusing on your breath. Breathing into your belly, up your ribs. As you exhale, Allow the belly to soften, the chest to drop. Checking in with 
the air that's going in and out of your nostrils. And really pay attention to how your inhalations feel inside your body, physically and mentally, and how your exhalations feel physically and mentally. Notice the rhythm of your breath, the pace, the length, the depth, noticing the pauses between the breath. Taking one deep inhalation and start moving your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. And reach your arms overhead, the feet away from you. Have a nice long stretch as you take a deep inhalation. And start bending your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Roll over to your side, whichever side you feel comfortable. Lift yourself up to seated. Sit up on your cushion again. So finding your cushion and find an easy cross in your legs. Sit up tall, let your pelvis tilt forward, sternum lift, shoulders soft. And placing your hand in Gya Mudra, so the tip of your thumb and your index finger lightly pressing against each other. Bring some alertness to your fingers and your hands. You're welcome to turn the palms up or down, depending on how you feel today. Staying here for a few deep breaths. Breathing into your belly and up your ribs. As you exhale, soften the belly, root back down into your sit bones. Start to visualize the sun's rays kissing your skin, 
from the crown of your head down to your shoulders and your neck your throat your heart down to your abdominals your stomach and let this warm light enter through the crown of your head traveling down your spine to the center of your head to your throat chest and your heart down the abdominals the solar plexus the digestive organs to your kidneys your bladder the pelvis warming up and let the sun rays fill up the legs from the pelvis all the way down to your toes this warm sun ray the light from the sun And as you inhale, breathing in gratitude, take a moment to thank nature for sustaining us. The creator that's behind all of this. And as you inhale, breathing in gratitude to the people you love for nurturing us. The next time you inhale, breathing in gratitude to the people who we have conflict with. For giving us a chance to elevate ourselves, to reflect, and to love. As you inhale, breathing in gratitude to your body, to your brain for always trying to, to keeping you alive and making you survive this harsh world. And as you inhale, breathing in gratitude to your spirit and the spirit that's been, that's attached to other people as we are all one and we're all bonded. So grateful to all the people around you. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer. We'll end our practice by chanting Om three times. Exhale fully. 
Inhale and we'll start. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free, healthy and safe. May my thoughts, words, actions contribute to this happiness and freedom for all. And taking a gentle bow in recognition of your own practice for establishing this connection and reinforcing this connection with your body, with your breath and your emotions. Slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for joining us this morning and if you would like to practice more of this yoga with me, you're welcome to check out on my website or just join me for some of the free content on YouTube, my YouTube channel and then ask away any questions on my social media. I hope to see you soon. Have a great morning this morning. Enjoy the nature. Enjoy the sun.